Hey, what's up? I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, I will be showing you a fix for this really, really frustrating problem. So I had been uh, facing this for two weeks. I couldn't find any solution. Nothing worked. But today I finally did find a fix that worked for me. Thanks to this user uh, on Reddit. Yes, me is yes. All right, so if you're facing the same problem, you would you would boot your PC. You would see all the fans spinning. Everything would seem uh, normal, but you would not be able to get any um, signal on your display, on your keyboard and uh, <coughs> in mouse. So <coughs> I was I was facing the same thing like for two weeks. And I tried many 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 things and it was really frustrating I, w I was fed up but let's straight get it get to the <clears throat> point so see I, yeah, I even ended up buying a new PSU and it turned out that uh, there was nothing bad with my previous PSU and you know you you can imagine like I spent money and I still did not get any results so how how frustrating would uh, would it be so all right so I posted my problem on reddit on r slash build a pc and uh, there 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 was this user yes me is yes and he he commented on on it and the solution he gave that really worked for me so after you know after after going through i think i i read like almost all the reddit posts related to this um, problem <coughs> but uh, nothing worked for me i i tried uh, resetting all the components uh, cleaning everything I, and nothing worked for me and yes you would you would even see uh, this uh, C easy debug CPU light on so uh, so the solution that reddit user gave was that this reset cable of the case might be causing the issue So <laughs> I literally just, you know, removed this cable and, and everything was like normal. <laughs> so this, this thing is the culprit and I ended up buying this thing for the issue that was caused by this, <laughs> this cable. <laughs> 